back again to my YouTube channel and as you must be aware uh, I have been running um, a set of videos related with power system analysis okay and in this series of videos I have been dealing with different topics um, I am an electromechanical guy I follow in love with dynamics in power systems and and this topic uh, power system stability is my favorite okay however here i cannot do something good but i will show you some basics uh, for my master students um here here uh, i am talking about the basic concepts related with uh, this plain basic and simple uh, power angle Trussian stability. Okay, in this course, uh, we are only dealing with the basic concepts of the of the um, of of the power angle Trussian stability. Okay, only that, uh, and this and this course also only include the classical model for the synchronous machine. Uh, to be honest, this is something basic and simple. Uh, however, it's a very interesting tool that you can use for learning the basic concepts. And when you have these uh, properly done and understand the physics, you can move to the biggest stuff, okay? Well, here I have a numerical example. Uh, if you want to check uh, more information about uh, the theoretical background, please go to my YouTube videos about um, the class of uh, modeling the synchronous machine and the, and derivating the, the swing equation and inertia constant and so on, okay? Uh, this numerical example is very simple. Consider a simple power system, okay? As we are showing over there, there is a generator over here connected a bus bar number three. There is a step up transformer going to bus bar number one. They are two identical transmission lines in parallel and those identical uh, transmission lines are going to what we call a infinitive bus bar, okay? Okay, what we are saying, this is connected to a very big power system that we can say this is an infinite bus, okay? Now the synchronous generator is delivering uh, power 0 0.8 per unit when the terminal voltage at the generator and the infinity push bar is 1.0 per unit, okay? Oh, well, this is a very interesting case. The, the terminal voltage of the generator is one per unit and also the infinity boost bar is one per unit, okay? Okay, now uh, what we want to do is, is something basic, okay? What we want to do here is just to write the power angle equation, okay? Remember, the power angle equation is the equation defining how this generator is able to provide active power to the infinity push bar, okay? Okay, let's do this. Let's start to see the solution, okay? And the first step that we want to do, the first step that we want to do is create a graphical representation of this system, okay? A graphical representation of this system is something very simple. What we want to do is basically create the reactance, the reactance network, okay? Um, the reactance network of this system that I am showing in figure Q2, okay? As you can see, there is a generator here. And as I say before, we are using the most basic, the most basic model for the synchronous machine, okay? In this case, we are using the classical model that is represented by a, an ideal voltage source. We are assuming that this is a round rotor, there is no saturation, blah, 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 all the, all the assumptions for a classical machine, okay? Here we have the, sub, the, the transient reactants in series with the step-up transformer. We have two identical uh, transmission lines and then going to the infinity boost bar that you can represent by an ideal voltage source, okay? Okay, now, okay, um, 
what we want to do now is uh, the, the problem statements say that we know this voltage over here and it's already defined that that voltage is one per unit okay that voltage is one per unit okay and also here in the uh, at the uh, infinity bus bar the voltage is one per unit okay for that reason what we want to do now what we want to do now is to calculate the reactance the reactance between those two points because because the angle between the the, the, the different in angle i mean this angle minus this angle will refer and will define the active power flow through those this section over here okay and as you can see this is the reactance of the transformer we have two identical transmission lines let me let me let me uh, solve this typo here this is small typo here yes okay and if you remember this is 0 0.1 coming from the transformer we have two identical transmission line in parallel that should be 0 0.5 divided by 2 uh, that is equivalent to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.25 that is 0 0.35 okay that is the reactance between the terminals generator terminals and the infinity boost bar okay that is the reactance between three and two okay why we are looking for that reactance okay because because first uh, we know is this voltage here and this voltage over there okay and what we want to do is use that relationship use the electrical power that is moving here to define what is the angle of this voltage because we don't have a, an idea what is the angle of that voltage okay what we will do now is the following okay and um, the electrical power is defined by the magnitude of this voltage the magnitude of this voltage divided by the total reactance that we already calculated and the angle between those vectors over there okay and as you can see it's very simple because this voltage is one per unit and identical to this one that is one per unit we calculate before the reactance the equivalent reactance between the terminals and the infinity push bar and that is 0 0.37 okay that means that the maximum power that we can transfer from this point to this point is 2.85 okay as you can see here i am using i am using alpha to represent the angle of this voltage terminal voltage over there okay what i will do now is something very simple okay as you must imagine uh, there is in, in the statement we know that the active power that is provided by the generator is 0 0.8 that means that the active power that is arriving here is 0 0.8 but it's also the active power that is departing here and also the active power that is moving here and then is shared between those two identical lines okay what i try to say is because this is a reactive inductive reactive circuits they are not active power losses and all the active power departing from the internal voltage of the synchronous machine is reaching the infinity push bar in this case the numerical value is 0 0.8 0 0.8 active power is departing from here and arriving there okay now what we are doing is just basic calculations okay what we want to do is the following if we know that the electrical power is 0 0.8 and we know the maximum power we can identify what is the angle delta zero and just extracting from this equation you can see now that the angle the angle is 16.26 what does it mean what is meaning is that we have here the voltage of the infinity push bar one at zero degree then we have here 16 degree and this is alpha zero yeah 
and this is the location for the terminal voltage. The terminal voltage is, location is 1.0 and the angle, the phase angle is 16.26, okay? But the problem is not solved at the moment. The problem is not solved at the moment because that equation that we have over there for electrical power is not the total active power mm, produced by the uh, synchronous machine. It's not at all. Why not? Well, because the final step here, the final step here is that we can obtain, okay, using just basic circuit analysis, we know this voltage now, and this voltage is 1.0 at 16.26 degree, and we know this voltage over here, and that is the 1 at 0 degree, and we know the total reactance between those points, and that is 0 0.35. And using just basic, basic circuit analysis, basic circuit analysis, we can obtain the value for the current. And as you can see here, when we solve the numerical problem, when we use just basic numbers, we can obtain here that the current is 0 0.8 at 8.13 degrees, okay? What is the idea that we know the current? Well, because the current that is moving here is coming from here, from the internal voltage source of the generator. And now, what we will do is using just Kirchhoff voltage law. Using Kirchhoff voltage law, we can estimate, we can obtain what is the internal voltage of the generator. The internal voltage of this generator is very simple because you can say that the internal voltage is the voltage drop across the, the transient reactors multiplied by this current plus the terminal voltage. And that is what I am presenting here. This is the Kirchhoff voltage law applied here inside the generator. And when we put together the numbers, when we put together the numbers, we can obtain here the internal voltage of this machine. First conclusion that you can see over here, the first, the first and very interesting conclusion over here, okay? The first conclusion is, as you can see, the internal voltage is a bit, a bit larger compared with the, uh, with the terminal voltage, okay? As you can see here, the internal voltage of the generator is equal to 1.03 at 25.15 degrees, okay? First conclusion, the magnitude of this internal voltage is a bit higher. Yes, of course, because we have an inductive at inductive uh, inductive circuit, okay? I will not go more in details, it's okay. But the interesting thing here is this angle. This angle over here represents the angle delta zero. That is the internal voltage of this machine, but also this is the mechanical angle that we define, okay? And the last step in this problem, the last step in this problem is just calculating the equation that we were asked for. What was the que what was the question? The question was the power angle equation. And the power angle equation is between the generator, between the generator and the infinity boost bar, okay? And the infinity boost bar, okay? And in this case the internal voltage is 1.03 and the infinity boost bar is 1 per unit and we calculate the reactance before and the reactance between here and there is 0 0.35. The only thing that is missing in the total reactance is the, the transient reactance of this generator. And that is the reason that we are adding here, we are adding here 0 0.20 to the original one. What I try to say is that the total reactance between the generator and the infinity boost bar is equivalent to the the transient reactance plus the um, reactance that we already calculated. Okay. And finally, we get here what we were looking for. 
what we were looking for was the electrical power that is defining uh, the equation defining the electrical power in this circuit okay a single plot that we can make you must remember that the power angle equation is basically a vertical axis is the active power horizontal axis is delta the maximum power transfer that you can get from this machine is equivalent to this number 1.882 per unit and then we have here an horizontal line and that is the mechanical power that we have at the very beginning 0 0.8 and over here we have this angle that is the initial angle 25 degree okay as you can see over here this is a very basic example all my students can do this um, if somebody from the consultancy is watching this video, I believe that they are most, must be laughing because this is something very basic, okay? However, what I want from my students is that they understand the physics. If you understand the physics behind the phenomenon, you can explain it. If you can explain it, it's because you understand it. If you cannot explain it, it's because you don't understand it, okay? And again, I don't need people memorizing formulas. I need people able to think and to develop uh, ideas and concepts and solve problems. Of course, for many years, I have been wondering how to teach, how to solve problems. And it's not something simple because people must reflect about what they are doing. The problem is that the classical education system is pushing us to create this kind of thinking. I learn by reading, I learn by reproducing. And to be honest, an engineer learn is by reflecting, thinking again, and researching and investigating and feeling the concept growing and the knowledge growing inside, okay? That is the most important part, okay? Well, for now, I would like to close this session. Thank you very much for watching this video. I know those examples, numerical examples, are extremely simple, but I need that my students understand the basic concepts, okay? Again, I, I am really sorry for my handwriting, okay? It was not my plan showing those videos in this way, but I don't have so much time in at recent moments, okay? Um, uh, if you have any comment, any suggestion, please feel free to send me one email or a comment here in YouTube or LinkedIn or Twitter, and I will be extremely happy to help you, okay? Thank you very much for watching the video. See you next time. Bye now.